complete the measurement. In this topic, we are going to learn how to measure the diameter of a spherical body. Diameter, as well you know, diameter is the distance between two points on the circumference passing through the center. Two points on the circumference passing through the center of the body. For this, we need two rectangular blocks. Here you can see in the picture, I have got block, one rectangular block A and another rectangular block B. I have adjusted this spherical object in such a way that it is just in between these two rectangular blocks. Now, in order to find the diameter, what you have to do is, by using a scale, measure the distance between this end of the rectangular block and this end. One ending end and another starting end. All the two ends that is touching the spherical body. This will give you the diameter of the spherical body. Now, our next is measuring the area of regular body by using formula. Regular body means it can be a rectangle, it can be a square. Already in the mathematics video, I have taught you how to find the area of a square, how to find the area of a rectangle, this rectangle. The same formula you are going to use over here. The area of a square is L into L, that is side into side and the area of the rectangle is length into breadth. Now comes measuring the area of irregular body by using graph. Here we need to use a graph paper. What you are going to do is, you will take a graph paper, on the graph paper you will keep the object. Now draw the outline of the object. You will keep, take a graph paper, on the graph paper you put the whatever the object is there. You know how the graph paper con contains the square boxes. Now you will keep the object over there and you will draw the outline. Now after drawing the outline, how many full squares or how many more than full squares are there that you will count and less than half that you will ignore. Less than half you will ignore. Half or more than half or full that you will count and that how many squares you have got? Total number of squares will give the area of the object. Now, measuring the volume of liquids. Here two kinds of liquids are here. What is the liquid that wets the glass surface? For this you need to take the measuring cylinder. Two measuring cylinder you will take. Now, you will put the... First, let's do the experiment with the water. Put the water in the measuring cylinder. You can see the shape of the water will be like this. Means it won't be straight. It will be little bit depressed inside the center. This shape is known as the concave shape. The liquid that wet the glass surface will give the concave surface. For example, water, spirit, oil, kerosene. They will be giving the concave uh, shape in the cylinder for that you have to see the lower meniscus this how much is here how much the measurement is denoted over here that will give the volume of the liquid but in some liquids like mercury mercury does not touch the glass surface it, it touches the glass surface but it does not bend the glass surface so it will give the shape like this means depressed at the sides Depressed, it won't be depressed in, in the center, it will be depressed in the sides. So, this is the convex, it is a convex shape. In this, you have to see the upper meniscus. Whatever the upper meniscus is there, that will give the volume of the convex liquids. I think now you, are, you must be clear regarding this. Now comes the measuring the volume of the irregular solid object. Nothing you have to do. Take a beaker or measuring cylinder. Put some water in that. Now with the help of a thread. Tie the object with the help of a thread. Insert it first. Before inserting, not the level of the water. Now insert the solid object. Now the water level will obviously increase. Now measure the level of the increased water. Subtract the upper meniscus from the, sorry, lower meniscus from the upper meniscus, you will get the volume.
volume of the solid object over here. Thank you.